Oh, what's up, happy people? I'm Robert Arrington, this is Deer Meat for Dinner, and you are watching Freezer Meat Friday. This right here, Mr. Austin Crocker. Let me tell you guys something about Austin. He's just a little bit of an excited guy. I got a yes, no way. Yeah, you're gonna be seeing more of this. Oh my gosh. And a little bit of that. <laughs> I wanna show you guys Austin's relationship with a big South Florida whitetail buck. <laughs> I got about in between eight and 900 texts about this deer. Thank you, Jesus. Like one in the morning, oh my God, there he is. Rob, it's 8 a.m. and he's there. Months and months and months go by. And finally last, an hour before a special wedding, I get the ultimate call. <laughs> Watch how this went down. in the tree stand after a really big buck. I've been trying to film a video on hunting this deer for almost two months now. It's all over the place, but long story short, this deer's kicking my butt. I have lots of trail cam pictures with him. Opening weekend of bow season, I filmed him at 30 yards come down the edge of this marsh, and he never gave my girlfriend Chloe a good shot. And I haven't seen him with my own eyes since. I have a cell camera right there at about 10 yards. And I honestly haven't had a picture of him in two weeks. There's a lot of standing water over here. And there's a lot of standing water over there. But right here, it's dry. There's a couple oak trees in front of me. It's kind of a Hail Mary. It's really windy. It's coming pretty strong out of the east. Hey, open tonight's the night. don't want to be caught dead up here without this in about two hours. I just got a picture of the big buck. He's a hundred yards this way under that oak tree. I knew I should have sat there tonight. It's the last day I have to hunt for three weeks. It's now or never. I'm going to climb down and try and sneak up on that oak tree. We got to get moving. I had to leave the camera back there. I don't know how I'm gonna film this, but I have to sneak through this water really quietly, try and get close enough for a shot. Yes, I got him. I got him. Yes, no way. Oh my gosh. Just 
down. He's down. He's down. I just heard him go down right there in the water. I don't know how well I got that on video. I do not know how well I got that on video. I tried to, I tried to put the GoPro. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. What? That was the best. I knew when I got that picture of him in those oaks, I knew the last time I got a picture of him, he would try to cross this marsh and I knew he was gonna win me. So I got down out of the tree and that doe came right there. I don't know if you heard it or if you saw it. I have been chasing that deer. Oh, I have been chasing that deer for three months. I gotta call Chloe. <laughs> <laughs> I got him. <laughs> I got him. I got him. I I got him at five yards. Oh, did you go get you after him? No, do you want to go look for him for me? Yes. I well, okay. Hold on, I'm talking to the camera. So here's the deal, you guys. She dropped me off because she went to go get ready for a wedding. Her and I gotta go to a wedding. Oh, my best friend oh, Brenton and Aaron, they're getting it's uh 5 11. They're getting married, they're getting married at 6 30. I babe, I, I made a good shot. I'm all dressed up. You are, yes. Oh, so you're not gonna be able, okay? So she's already dressed up. I need to go get dressed up. Do you want me just I to go? I don't want to go though. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I have to leave now. Okay, change real quick. Come okay. come with me to see the deer and then we'll quick run back to the house and change back into our clothes. Okay, okay. Okay. I'll, Does that I'll sound change good? And I'll be on my way. Okay. I love you, babe. Michael, I love you too. Oh, Bye. Okay. I know my arrow is right here. There's my arrow. There's my arrow right there. Let's walk this off. This dog funnel right here, they can really hide in it. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight yards. <laughs> eight yards. Look where, look where my arrow is. <laughs> you dirty no. dog. How did you get them? Huh? I, I slipped it. I slipped it right. If you get down, you'll see it. Oh I slipped my it. I slipped it right through there, point blank, eight yards. So, all right, we gotta trail this deer up quick because we got a wedding to go to, and I changed so quick. Yeah, I did already. I, I am not gonna. Um, I'm not gonna be able to drag the deer out right now. I'm gonna have to leave it in the water. We'll be back in. What do you think? How long? How long is the wedding? Gonna be two hours. We can get him out. We have time. No. You don't think? What time does wedding start? We got an hour. Okay, I think we have enough time. He's right there. <laughs> He's right there. <laughs> you know how he ran what? Thirty yards. <laughs> Come on, let's go over there. Oh, I got it. <laughs> oh man, what a giant South Florida eight point. <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> oh man! Look at that shot! Oh, that's incredible! <laughs> oh, what a stud! Can you see the character? Yes. Look at that! Wow! Look at that buck! <laughs> I literally just get back from New Orleans. Five minutes, I'm not even off the plane yet. I get a text from this goofball, Austin. He's like, I just shot a giant. Well, the next pic, the next text is a picture of the deer. And you guys, you gotta understand something. To live in South Florida and to kill two deer like that, to kill the 10 point that he got, then Chloe got her first buck. Nice shot. 
I don't even know if y'all have seen that video yet, but she's already killed one with her bow. Now he kills this one with his bow. That's not that's not normal, man. I don't care where you live. That's an awesome buck, and I'm super proud of you, man. Thank you, man. When you saw the deer, what went through your mind? The buck? Oh, there wasn't much time to think. <laughs> I was, I mean, I was focused on the doe because, you know, bucks chase does, and I was thinking he's going to come right there, so I'm locked and squared this way. But when I heard something coming through the water, you have to immediately draw and turn. I was not expecting him to come right there. Basically, he shot the deer from here to the corner of the door. Very close. So Absolutely. If I hadn't have drawn, spun, I, I probably would have lost my chance at him. That's right. What do you think? Are you proud of him? Yeah? All right, cool. Are you ready for some deer meat? You ready for some deer meat? Yeah? Good deal. All right, you guys. Let's cook. These are little tortilla pockets, just like that. And what you have to do is you have to heat them up in the oven, but I want it to be even better. So I'm going to take a little bit of lime and I'm just going to drizzle it right in between here. Wrap them up like that and we're going to stick them in the oven for about, I don't know, about 10 minutes. Now, Alexa, let's get with it. Set timer for, wait, Alexa, set timer for 10 minutes. These kids. It's so funny whenever we, I tell the girls, okay, we'll leave in five minutes. First thing they do is tell Alexa to remind me in 10 minutes. Look at that. See that? That is a muscle off the deer's ham. And all we want to do is we just want to cut off some of the silver skin. It's actually not a lot there. This is going to be so good. Dad, huh, is that baby? Austin's deer? Yeah, this is Austin's deer. <laughs> Take a little bit of olive oil and put it into a hot pan, about that much. Put a couple pallets of butter, just like that, and this is our meat. Super easy. That's not all of that muscle. That's just how much I'm going to use. Throw it in there. Now we want to do a little salt, some pepper, and original Everglades. Just like that. And then just start letting that brown up. We've got some shiitake mushrooms, green bell pepper, orange, yellow, red, and onion. Holy cow. Alexa is on point. We're going to throw them right into here. Just like that. Mushrooms. Stop timer, girl. Look at all the color, look at all the sizzle. That's happy time, happy time. We're gonna add just a hair bit of brandy in here. It's gonna give it a nice, sweet, happy flavor. That's what I'm talking about. Now, I wanna hit this with just a little lime. Give it a nice, fresh, lovely flavor. It looks phenomenal. Does it look better now or whenever he was crawling through the woods? Mm, that's hard, but he looks <laughs> awful good right there. You don't want to overcook it. That's perfect. Take this. Put some of that in there. Oh, we'll put it all in there. We'll take cheese. Put some cheese in there just about like that. Sour cream. Please excuse the sound effects. Last but not least, we've got guacamole. All these flavors now come to light. Take some cheese, put cheese right on top. A little bit of sour cream. Touch of guacamole. Crocker killed the deer. Crocker gets to eat the first pocket. I like how you mix them all together so we didn't have to put it all in all at once. Mmm. That's really good. 
Yeah. My thinking behind mixing it all together where you have the sour cream, guacamole, all of your ingredients all in one spot is otherwise when you're eating it, you're getting a lot of one flavor all the time. With this, you get it all combined, all together. You can make these things as big and full as you'd like or as thin as you would like. Most importantly, enjoy wildlife, enjoy wild game, try something new and enjoy it with your family. But for now, take care, God bless, and we are gone.